Hey guys, welcome to the 184th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to hopefully finish working on our capture generator. Alright, so the first thing we have to do here is have a folder browser dialog be displayed when the user clicks on this Choose Folder button. And after the user selects a folder for all of their captures to be saved into, um, we're just going to have this labels text change to that path. Alright, so let's just go ahead and double click on this Choose Folder button right here. And we're going to say um, Folder Browser Dialog FBD equals a new Folder Browser Dialog. And then we're going to check to see if the user actually did select the location in their Folder Browser Dialog. So we're going to say if FBD.ShowDialog dialog equals dialog result dot ok then we're just going to have that labels text uh, change to that location so we're going to say label one's text equals fbd dot selected path and the selected path property is basically just the path that they selected um, in the folder browser dialog alright so let's just go ahead and test this out here so when you click on this choose folder button we should get a folder browser dialog yep you can select a folder, this is my output folder where all the captures will be saved into. When I click OK, this labels text should change to that location. Yep, it gets a little bit cut off right there, but that's OK. Alright, and one more thing that we have to do before we move on to actually saving the images, we're going to have to move this random above the for loop, because if we don't, uh, all the images will be the same, since all the random numbers generated will be the same, so we just have to have one instance of this random class right here. Alright, so before we just had a for each statement saying for each images, or for each image in all these images that it returns, we're just going to have a message box show. Well, let's just go ahead and delete that and say image array images equals generate captchas and then the amount that we want to generate the user inputs right here so we're going to say convert dot two in 32 which is just an integer and then text box once text we just want to convert that into an int and then have that many captchas be generated all right and then we're going to create an integer g right here and we're going to need that because we need to access um, the string at g's index and string will basically just be the name of the image and remember strings holds basically the md5 hash of the string that's in the captcha alright so now we're just going to say for each um, image image in the generated images which is the images array so images then we just want to basically save that image so we're just going to say image dot save and the location that we want to save it to is label one's text because remember we changed label one's text whenever the user selects the path so we're going to say label one's text plus um, slash slash and we have to put two slashes because if we put one it'll just cancel out um, uh, this quote right here so we have to put two and then we want to add to that for the file name will be this uh, md5 hash of the string inside of the captcha. So we're just going to say strings at the g index. Alright, and then we're just going to want to make the file extension be png, so it'll be a png image. Alright, and then after it does this, we just want to increment g by 1 so that it will actually get the corresponding um, string for the image. Alright, so let's just go ahead and test this out here and make sure that it works. So when we debug and choose a folder, I'm going to choose my output folder right here, choose an amount, this will make five captures, click start, let's just go here and make sure that it made five captures, yep, there are all five captures, each name is the md5 hash of the string inside of the image, so the name of this file is the md5 hash of c3d22r. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial, and that's how you make a capture generator. So, see you guys.